let's talk about this this new groundbreaking menin inhibitor therapy. Can you go into more detail about what the therapy is and who it might be right for? Sure. Uh, so right now, the drug really has been tested in the setting of relapse refractory disease, meaning for patients whose disease has already been treated but has relapsed. Uh, and there are certain genetic subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia that are eligible for this disease or amenable, uh, sorry, to this targeted therapy. So these include acute myeloid leukemias with NPM1 mutation or acute myeloid leukemias with KMT2A or formerly known as the MLL gene rearrangement. And the reason for this is that these alterations, these genetic alterations, lead to an aberrant interaction of menin with KMT2A, and the leukemia depends on this interaction. So what the menin inhibitor does, it you know, eliminates this interaction, and so it's used for therapy in patients that have this genetic uh, change. Are there other menin inhibitors in development? There are. And what are there they? There are several specific ones that are being tested, um, you know, uh, different names. So the one that, that Emmy Anderson just published on is Rebunib, but uh, there are several ones that are in, in development. And what about these other inhibitors are showing promise? Um, so, you know, if you think about AML in general, really the only curative therapy that we have outside of the favorable risk disease is, uh, hematopoietic stem cell transplant. And hematopoietic stem cell transplant is not a trivial treatment. It has a lot of side effects in and of itself. Uh, so, you know, the, the goal really is to be able to treat patients with less intensive therapies. And, you know, the goal of these targeted therapies is to provide patients with less intensive therapies, even compared with chemotherapy, with conventional chemotherapy that tends to be toxic. Uh, so the goal is really to be smart about it and try to figure out how the pathogenesis of disease um, is developed and to try and eliminate the pathways that that cancer is using to proliferate. If patients are interested in this menin inhibitor therapy, where do they start? Are there trials outside of MD Anderson? Yes, the, these are multi-institutional trials. And I would tell you that the best resource to identify clinical trials is essentially clinicaltrials.gov.gov. Uh, so you can go there and look up the active clinical trials by disease type, by location. Um, so that is, that is the best resource to identify uh, clinical trials.